Oh my goodness, I came here at just the right time. See her? I know what that is. I think I see more of it. Come on, where's all that mid-century pottery that definitely must have come in with that donation? Why is it extreme? This is what I want to know. Oh, these are Pier 1 imports. I'm debating on picking up this little Minnie Mouse Disneyland hat. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, it is a rainy, blustery day here in Las Vegas, but that is not keeping me home. I needed to drive over to Henderson, Nevada, which is just on the other side of Las Vegas, because, oh goodness, without going into the whole sordid tale, I had to turn in some keys. And the office is over here, and you may have seen my Facebook post. Uh, my car was hit by a cop car who was there to take a police report on a burglary. Oh uh, yeah, it's a whole thing. I will, I'll do a live and explain all uh, one day soon. But, but anyway, I had to come to Henderson and uh, go turn in these keys. And there is a Goodwill here. I don't think I have been to this Goodwill in close to a year. It's been a long time. So all fresh merchandise and uh, let's go discover some really good stuff for resale. Let's go, let's get shop done. There it is, the sign that we all know and love. Good morning. We need a lucky cart first. I'm gonna come over here and get one of these guys. Our color is purple. All right, let's head straight over to this shelf. And let's see what we got. It looks like a guardian angel over some children. Looks like it was a nightlight. Oh, that is very sad. She is missing her wings. Poor girl. This guy's got a really sweet face. No marks. It's kind of a heavy, heavy bisque. We're going to leave him. But he's nice. Oh, you know I can't leave these behind for a dollar fifty. That is a really pretty bisque vase. There is a, a mark under there. Let's see what's under the tag. Oh, it just says LBK. It's only two dollars. It's got beautiful little Lily of the Valley. A little discoloration there. I think that might clean up, but for two dollars, we're gonna take a chance. See her? I know what that is. That is an Isabel Bloom. There's the signature on the bottom, 2013, for a dollar ninety-nine. We'll take her. Ziggy's pretty cute too. I'm not exactly sure what. I guess he's just a little egg Ziggy thing. I'm gonna leave him. He's cute. I'm going to look at this Dove vase, candle holder. Again, it's only $2. The beak is good. Everything's good. For $2, we're going to grab that. Let me stand back here and see if anything else is uh, catching my eye, like maybe this girl. She is a Madonna and Child. I can't tell if that had a mark at one time or that's just some schmooze under there. It's a little planter. She's got some paint wear on her nose, but it's $3. I'm going to see how much I can clean her up and get her a new home. Okay, do you see these fun guys? I know we're a little ways away from the next Halloween, uh, but these are fun. These are like little crafty pieces someone made candle holders. Not exactly sure how they made that. Looks like some kind of a lid that they just drilled out. Little buzzards. I'm not going to get them. They're super cute. I love them, but I don't want to store them for a year. And then, oh, you're stone. You're like marble. You are not a real shell. You are a 
marble clamshell. And it's got a little bit of damage. Well, is it? Is it damage? Or is that just the veins of the marble? Either way, I don't care. I love it for two bucks. I'm picking that up. I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. Oh, it's Belle. This is unfortunate. This little unicorn has lost its horn. Now it's just a horse. Not that being just a horse is bad, but for resale, no bueno. It's another nice little piece, like a Nippon cup. It doesn't have its saucer though, and they are asking $10, so we have to leave that one. I found another cool shell in a bag, plus this little baby abalone. But look at this. That is a gorgeous conch shell. It says shells of Carmel. Probably got some age on it too, but I'll have a hard time selling that one. But the whole bag is only $3.99. These are interesting little pottery trivets. It's got a nice, nice design. Cook's Club quality design. There's two of them. I don't see a price. Let's see, is the price on the other one? no price. I don't know. I don't know if they're worth me picking up, but they are really pretty. Who am I kidding? They're drawing me. The color, the leaves, the quality. I'll get a price when I get to the counter. Do you ever do that? Do you ever, like, you're going to leave something behind and then it just, like, tugs at you and you're like, the guilt just sets in and you, you can't do it. You can't leave it behind. I know. I go through that all the time. We're in this together. We'll get through it. Fish bowls, please, please don't ever put a fish in that size bowl. It's just not nice. That's a cool Pyrex. I do believe Pyrex makes that mid-century kind of coffee carafe for $7. I don't think it's a real high seller, but I feel like it's a $15 to $20 seller, so we'll get it. I might give that a quick look up before I buy it, but knowing me, I probably will forget to do that by the time I get done with this shopping trip, and it will just come home with me. I will find it a new home, one way or another. Ooh, lots of little figurines in there. It is Purple Tag 350, and I have a friend who repurposes these little figurines, so I'm picking this up for her, and I might you know, take the bird out of there. <laughs> See what we've got on this shelf. That's cheaply made. $2.99 for that. I think that would hold like a little salt and pepper or something. I just bought a bread basket that looks very similar to that for Jordan for Christmas. It's okay, it's safe. She's not gonna see this video before Christmas, so <laughs> I can say such things. Um, but it was not cheap. I, uh, I had to pay up a pretty penny for that. It's acacia wood. This is an interesting little thing here. I'm not quite sure what they... It does not go on that leaf. I'm very, very sure that the uh, brass leaf is not part of it. I do like that brass leaf. I just don't know if it'll clean up. And I don't believe there's anything else on the metals. Oh my goodness, I came here at just the right time. Look at all of these beautiful Dorothy Thorpe martini glasses. I mean, there is a whole collection of them for 99 cents each. I'm having a really hard time justifying leaving these, but I am going to do a quick look up first. Okay, I didn't even count how many there were. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'll probably sell a set of ten with a couple extra, or with an extra, not a couple extra. These canisters are pretty nifty too. A little Southwest. So three dollars for the little guy, and five dollars for that guy, and seven dollars for that guy. That's a really good buy. I'm gonna grab those two. Okay, let's see. Let's move this heavy guy over because I see something over here. It's not that. Mapoko ware. Made in Czechoslovakia. 
Okay, that's cool. For $4, let's put that in the cart too. I think I see more of it. Is it? Let's check it out. Sure is. $5 for four bowls. Back to the Pepsi pitcher. Whoop. Pepsi pitcher. For $5, we will take you too. These were inside that Pepsi pitcher. They're little mid-century sugar glass shot glasses for 69 cents each. We'll grab those too. So you may have seen this kind of fall over. This is a solid brass vase. I mean, solid brass. Now, the fact that all of this mid-century stuff is over there, like probably came in on the same donation. I'm going to assume that this has some age on it for $7. I mean, that's like scrap value. We'll take it. I also snagged this adorable little little tray, little vanity tray, and look, Japan, little felted back for $2.99. Uh, yes, please. But wait, there's more. There were some alabaster grapes in there as well. Uh, $2.99, we'll take those too. Okay, that was just the first cart. Let's go over here and look at the second one where there could be more of this mid-century goodness. <gasps> that says England on it. Hello. Uh, $3.99 and there is a pair. These are some hanging brass wall sconces made in England for $4 each. I will grab those. Looks like a lot of ashtrays in here and the golden nugget. Not really something that I deal a whole lot in, so I will leave those for somebody else. These are nice, but again, it's that glass that just doesn't bring enough to really deal with it. That's kind of a cool piece for $4.99. I don't know who makes it, but I like it, and it's not chipped at all. It's definitely got some age on it. I'll take that. All right, two down. One to go. What is this? Plastic playing cards, a whole bridge set. That's interesting. I don't know that there's much demand for that, but there might be demand for a zebra bowl drinking for five bucks, so I will grab that. And this basket. Oh, let's grab that. That's a nice little basket for two bucks. I do like the single brass candlestick and it's probably from that same donation made in Portugal. It says Valsan. It's a really nice solid candlestick. Got to get a little wax off of it. It is five bucks. We'll take it. Kind of peeking in here. I don't see anything else worth digging for. Little snack trays some office supplies, some frames. Now, I think that's probably gonna do it for the new carts. Oh, goodness gracious, look what's happening. These aisles are so skinny. I'm having to leave my cart out there on the end, so I have to keep an eye on it. Jesus loves you. Give me an O. Sun City Anthem box. All right, there's nothing real exciting on this shelf. But let's look over here. Where's that special stuff? Sunflower. Another bat. I'm looking for more basketry now that I found that one. What is this? What is this? Oh, I thought I had found something really good, but it's just something really broken. Let's see, come on, more mid-century. Oh, squirrel. Really wanna find some more mid-century. Really, really, oh, that's kinda cool. Look at this little adorned butterfly. Now, now I really believe these are just decals that someone put on here in little uh, rhinestones, but what a great, what a great design. It's beautiful. And then there's this, wicks and sticks. Oh, I remember wicks and sticks from the 80s. Really expensive candles. Little safari planter is cute. Santa. Okay, we're looking for we're looking for better than that though. Come on, where's all that mid-century pottery that 
definitely must have come in with that donation. Mm, maybe it's still coming out today. All right, and then you always have to look also like those those dishes, those bowls. Aha, just as I'm saying it, uh, some could have already gotten to the shelf. And there we go. I found some more. Yep, same one. $4.99 for four bowls. So I'm really going to be keeping my eyes peeled now for more of that. As well as any other really cool stuff that made it to the shelf before I got to the carts. I'm sure there's some goodies. Ooh, that caught my eye. Look at the beautiful blue in that. Eiffel Home. It's definitely Eiffel. I feel like I could do something with this. Hmm. 99 cents. I'm grabbing this. These look like Blue Ridge Pottery. Let's see. Hand painted. Oh, purple tag. $2.50 for four plates. Oh, see, this is where my sensibility says I probably shouldn't pick these up but my heart says save them i mean they're nice it's not like i'm saving something that's broken or anything these are nice little plates both of these both of these for five bucks i'll take them okay now i am feeling <laughs> feeling a little little anxious about how much stuff i'm finding and i'm not even halfway through the store now these are two dollars each i just got those well, actually they're a dollar each. So do I want to spend a dollar more per plate to save these two also? I would, I would, I don't know. I would just feel so guilty if I didn't. Who remembers this pattern? That mid-century wheat, who makes it? Royal, Royal M, Royal M. Didn't even know that. I just know that the, the wheat, the wheat was a big thing in the mid-century. All right, let's keep looking for any other matches to that really cool Czechoslovakian pattern because there is liable to be more or a really cool amber glass mixing bowl, but not as exciting as I thought it would be. Okay, taking a peek through the plastics. I don't really see anything exciting here. All right, we're at the coffee mugs. Let's see what we've got here. That looks older. Puerto Rico. That looks interesting. Hand painted collection. Tabletops, pretty. Gonna leave it. The pricing here is really good. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder if that's worth anything. It's a Pendleton. It's 69 cents and it sells for about 10 to 12 bucks. So, let's look it over. It's a couple little scratches. Oh, no, nope, can't do it. Can't do that on a $10 mug. If it had been in great shape, I would have picked it up, but we're gonna leave this one behind. All right, let's look through the glassware. Might have something exciting here. Hmm, let's see. Just lots of, you know, pretty common stuff. Oh, look, look, they had a friend. Let's uh, reunite them. There you go, little buddy. And let's see if there's anything else exciting here. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, we're in a lot of clear stuff. A little potpourri there. Ooh, that's pretty. Very cheaply made, but it, it's pretty. Too bad it's so cheaply made. Had that been a little bit heavier pottery, I would have been interested. All right, let's see. Go over here. Ooh, that looks like a decent little piece of pottery. What are you? Natural life. 99 cents. Look how sweet that is. Just a little spread kindness like wildfire flowers. Oh, I love that. But again, this is probably a $10 to $12 piece. So I'm going to leave it only because, well, there's that happening. 
sometimes that is just the decision maker. It's when there is already a lot of better things to deal with. Austin Warehouse. Put you back. Let's see what we've got here. Is that a shaker? Yeah, that's a shaker from the Rio. I don't know if the Rio is going to survive. The Rio, the Rio is kind of in trouble. We're going to, we're going to wait and see. It was bought and uh, we're waiting to see what they're going to do with it. These are really cute skewers. Look at them, like little festive summer fiesta barbecue skewers for five bucks. I don't think we need those, but they are super cute. Cookware, cookware. Ooh, what are you? I'm always on the lookout for that really expensive cookware. You never know. It could show up. It could show up in any thrift store at any time. And that is part of the fun of this treasure hunt. Party supplies. We don't want any party supplies. Extreme dot to dot. Why is it extreme? This is what I want to know. Oh, that's a uh, pretty extreme. Kind of looks fun though. Oh, if only it would really be nice, you know, to have something in writing. Tell me what's the plan. Give me, give me a little hint. Let me know what's the next thing that uh, you're going to see me through so I can be prepared. What are you little raggedy Ann and Andy? Oh, you're, Oh, your plastic? Are you just placemats? I'm looking for a date. Yeah, nothing too exciting, but they're cute. Oh, there's some rooster ones too. Why do I feel like these probably came from the dollar store? Okay, I found this thing. I think it'll be really fun. It's got all these numbers, numbered pockets on it. I don't know what its original purpose was. But I think I'm going to do some kind of like a mystery, mystery jewelry sale or miss, some kind of a mystery sale where, you know, you pick the number and we pull out something fun and we kind of like have a, have a game out of it. That would happen over on the Niche Shopping Network if we do that. So uh, stay tuned. Oh yeah. And come check out the Niche Shopping Network. Now you saw me get that other piece of brass. So now I'm attracted to this piece of brass, which is also probably about the same era this one's not as substantial as that one but again it's only four dollars and brass is really making a comeback so i'm gonna grab it okay let's see what they have in the lamps i kind of like those wood ones right there can you just imagine those with a little cleanup that wood would come back so nice they're only 12.99 but i am gonna leave these for somebody else Crystal lamps were making a comeback for a while. I don't know what they're doing right now. That one's really pretty. It's the brass and the crystal. It was like a princess house. You know, it used to be able to get them and those were like, I remember when those were selling for like a couple hundred bucks a piece. Maybe they still are. I don't know. I love finding usable household items as well. Like this whole box of straws. They're all individually wrapped. So we will definitely use those. Well, the small art shelves are pretty sparse today. Not a lot on them, but they have all of this art. So, we'll take a peek. Not a skier. That one does not appeal to me. I, you know, I've never gotten in, gotten gotten into kind of this abstract art. To me, it's like hotel lobby art. It's Robert. Parkinson? Is that what that says? I think so. I think so. They're all kind of like the same. Well, they got something on the back. Well, let's see. What does it say? Faces number two, 2003. I'm pretty sure these were used in some kind of a commercial setting. There's four of them. Similar, but different. Not my style. The frames are kind of a giveaway too, kind of that generic framing. Okay, no art today. All right, let's hit the Christmas. See what we've got. Again, when I'm looking at the Christmas now, it's either gotta be something that just is so awesome, I can't live without it, or 
it's worth putting away for a year uh, because that pretty much, you know, it's going to be a year for Christmas. Or it's vintage and the collectors will want it any time of the year. This has got some interesting marks on it. This She's not Christmas. She is this little pottery. Oh, she was an angel and she's missing her wings and that is too bad because she was really, really cute. I don't know who she is though. Let's keep looking. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. They have a lot of Christmas left. Don't normally remember seeing this much Christmas left right before Christmas unless they're getting ready. I haven't seen them saying they're going to do some sale, but maybe they are. Maybe they are. Let's look over here. Oh, I do love me some uh, LED string lights with the. Uh, but I think these are battery. They're battery. Leave them, Danny. All right. I can't wait to see what my electric bill is this month with all of my Christmas decor going. Although I can't remember, Halloween wasn't wasn't too bad. It, no, who am I fooling? October October was a pretty high electric bill. Christmas dishes. And again, though, it's not always Christmas that gets mixed in here. So you have to look like these are not Christmas. These are from somewhere. I don't know. Shamers? Cantinas? But uh, you got to look. You got to look because you never know. Alpine Village Inn in Las Vegas. I didn't know we had an Alpine Village Inn. There's an Alpine Village in California that my country band used to play at. Interesting. Now I'm sure it, it probably no longer exists and that's why I don't know about it. Because those are definitely some vintage cups. Okay, Christmas tree spode. I would have snagged this if it wasn't nineteen dollars. Cause spode is the name you want for this Christmas tree design. See the little Santa Claus? And I would ship a platter like this all day long in its original box because that's basically double boxing. But that's a little more than we can spend. Interesting. Not sure how that goes together like they have it, but it's how they're selling it. All right. I don't really see too much calling me in the uh, Christmas, except remember? Remember me finding uh, his friends in the last video? All this stuff kind of gets separated through all the stores. And we have a lot of them here in Vegas. I do look through all of the sections. I don't spend a lot of time on it. I'm kind of just looking for anything that kind of calls to me as maybe vintage or just super adorable and easy to sell. They have all their furniture and large items right down the center of the store here. Never know what's going to get mixed in here either. I still kind of like that style. Oh, he's such a cheetah. Pillows and linens are the next stop. Oh, look at that birdie. Let's see. Who makes you? These appear one imports. High quality. This is all like applique on here. I'm trying to figure out if he's faded though. I, I feel like maybe he was someplace where sunlight was hitting him because his colors just aren't very vibrant. Oh, he's really cool though. I'm going to have trouble not putting this one in my cart. You knew it was going to happen. Does he have any friends? Is there a flock? Or even just one flock mate? I see none. Always have to look through the miscellaneous. You never know what they're going to stick in this section. It's everything that just doesn't fit into one of their other labels. Look, there's even a new rack of linens. I don't often get to shop a new rack of linens. Although I don't really see anything exciting on this one. Oh, bummer. I'm debating on picking up this little Minnie Mouse Disneyland hat. I am going to be doing a Disney sale soon. It is $5. I feel like this is probably a $10 to $12 hat. And it's $5. I mean, mm, I think I have enough Disney. I'm going to leave this one behind. This has been a really good trip so far. 
I'm really glad I came here. Let's head up to the jewelry. Lots of purple tags, lots of half price. Let's see if there's anything worth looking closer at. I do like the peacock feathers. Hmm, nothing too exciting in here though. Let's look down here. More pearls. No, I just don't really, really see anything that I want to pull out. Not even the jewelry jar. All right, we're going to head to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. It's coming up right now. That was way too much fun. Some really awesome things were in those bins that they were just bringing out. So, man, that just has me wanting to go to another store right now, which I think is what I'm gonna do. But that will be in the next video. So please hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell and uh, come back and see, hey, there might be more mid-century stuff got scattered. So we're gonna check that out, but you, go be profitable and make it fun.